Alright, hello everyone, and welcome back to a brand new video. Uh, in this week's video, we're going to be doing something, like, different from usual. In this week's video, we're going to be taking a differential apart from a lawnmower. Now, the differential from a lawnmower and the differential from a car are similar, and I just want to, like, go through how a differential works, and just, like, show you guys what happened to this one, because this one, uh, it wasn't pulling right. Uh, it was actually my grandma's mower. We went up there and did a rear end swap on it. And uh, this one, like whenever you went down the hill, this thing would just release the gears and send you flying down the hill at like 30 miles an hour. And the brake couldn't even stop it. So I want to go ahead and pop it apart with you guys and take a look at it and see what all happened in there. And in the meantime, I'll explain how the differential works and how everything's driven. So what I'm going to go ahead and do now is I'm going to take all the bolts out of it and uh, try to take it apart. Alright guys, so at first glance, I noticed this fluid, and it is all gunked up. It, it shouldn't be like that. That is, of course, grease. That right there is really, but it's all down through there. It's not good. It should not be quite that thick. It's the same thing in your vehicle. This is what will happen to your vehicle if you never change your diff fluid. Right, so as you can see right now, it's in gear. It's spinning the pinion, which is turning your axles. Damn it, this thing, is, this thing is nasty. Um, but like the brake is supposed to slow it down, right? So it spins, this spins with it. If you'll see, look how just, look how much play is in that. That is a lot of play. This thing is just worn to pieces. These flop around. These should not be flopping around like that. This should this should spin. That's that's right. That right there's a gear, but I can't actually get it to spin. Yeah, see, it should be turning the actual shaft, and it's not. Whereas whenever this one's locked, but we'll wait. We'll wait on obnoxious people. Okay, finally decided that he was done. All right, so you guys will look. Turn this, this shaft spins. So that gear in there is what is spinning and turning it the opposite direction. This is because the whole point of a differential is so that whenever you turn, you're not hopping. So like, if you have a solid axle, like if you just had a solid piece of steel with two wheels attached to it, one wheel is turning more than the other one whenever you make a turn, right? One wheel turns more than the other does. So you're taking a left turn. The driver's side wheel is going to turn sharper than the passenger side wheel is. Passenger side is going to go out further, whereas this one's going to take a sharper curve. So they're spinning at two different speeds, therefore you need a differential which is going to split up that speed. That's the whole point of a differential. A lot of you probably already knew that. I'm just probably just speaking to the choir here, but if you didn't, it's great information for you. Now you know. We could tear this thing completely all the way apart, but I just don't want to. It's nasty. I want to throw it back together because I have to actually put this back in another mower just so that we can move it. This thing will never be on the road again. But, um, says there's just, there shouldn't be quite that much play with these. I think there should be something in there that's holding them apart and that broke. And it's probably down in there somewhere where I can't get to and can't see. But yeah, there shouldn't quite, there shouldn't be that much play in those gears because that's probably what was happening. Is that whenever you were going down here, you could hear a cut, 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 cut. Like, yeah, like a gear was trying to catch and hold you back, but it couldn't. And that was probably this gear right here trying to catch but with it doing this but they having that much play you know because even after it even after if I can get it to lock on the shaft it won't lock on the shaft why there it goes even after it locks on the shaft it can still wobble off because of all that play so that's probably what was happening and you just you can't get I mean you're not going to be able to actually so the transmission, the transmission on the mower should be holding you back on our automatic transmission mower. This came off a Troy built Super Bronco, in case I didn't say that already. This is what this one came out from under. Um, but yeah, this thing is worn. And the fluid really should have been changed. 
And the only way to change it, of course, is to pop it apart, clean this thing out good, and put new, because this thing is just, ew. Right, whenever I turn the pinion, look how much extra play that has. Right there, there's no play. It won't even go, but right there, if you'll watch, look how much those stay spinning. They shouldn't be doing that. Especially not if there's one gear locked. Right now, I've got it. I don't have any gears locked. And I... Oh, yeah, look at that. I can't actually spin it backwards, and I'm not sure why. Because it's in neutral. It should be able to go either way. But, yeah, that's the main thing that messed up. There should be, is the, is this, the play in this gear. I figured that's what messed up, and that's why you were just... Uh, then that's why it would go down the hill flying, and it wouldn't hold back like it was supposed to, whereas the one that we put in it does. Um... So yeah, I mean, just, it's pretty simple. So the way that this works is, if you saw the top of it right here, so this would be a pulley driven thing. So like you can see there's a gear in there that drives, set it on here real quick. So you can hear stuff happening, right? So there's a pulley right here. This is your drive pulley. So this is what's going to actually drive the, the shaft. It spins that gear right there. Okay, that's the gear that spins. Now, if it's in forward, it spins this gear. If it's in reverse, it spins this gear. I'm guessing one of those two. I'm not. I'm not going to go through the math to figure out which gear is which. I mean, I could, but I'm not going to right now. Um, fucking shit. I'm getting. I okay. got. Things just nasty. It's all over me. Um. But that's how it works. The pulley drives this right here, which actually drives the gear down there, whichever one it's in. So if it's in forward, it'll drive one gear, most likely this one. I want to say it's that one. And then uh, the reverse is going to be that gear. Whichever gear it is, uh, you'd have to figure it out by either like, I don't know, you could probably look up a spec sheet on it and figure out what it is and all that in a diagram. I'm not going to go through all that because I just this is just for proof of concept. Um, but this is the kind of, this is pretty much the same way that a actual differential on a car works. The difference is, instead of having a big old pulley up here, you have a, a shaft that bolts onto the front that your drive shaft bolts to. And it spins and turns whatever gear. Well, this is actually a transmission and a diff and all on the same one. So I'm kind of explaining two different things here. And I hate to do that, but this is like a transmission and a differential all in one. So like this right here is your differential part and this right here is actually your transmission part. So it is it is slightly different because you have a transmission built into it that changes the gears. Whereas in a vehicle your transmission and differential are separate. But um, yeah that's about all I got. So we're going to go ahead and put this thing back together now. And uh, yeah. All right, guys, a couple things, just real quick. If you'll notice, whenever I turn this, this right here spins. The uh, This is what I like to call the brake rotor on this type of mower, because that's basically what it is. Whenever you pull this lever right here, it, it basically engages the brake. And right now, it's harder to turn. But as you can see, I can still turn it with relative ease. I'm barely even pulling on it. And like, as the more I pull, the easier it gets. I feel like I should have more brakes than that. Also, um, whenever we installed the other thing, because we were looking at this brake the whole time that we were there, we were like, dang, pulls back that far. And uh, we looked at the other one, and you you could barely even feel it pull back. It was almost like doing a regular brake caliber on a vehicle. And uh, whenever we got it all in and said and done, I was like, man, that brake's not going to work. That doesn't want to pull back so freaking far. And it worked flawlessly. So this is not supposed to pull back this far. And this right here is worn slap out too. As far as this rotor is actually, it, there's a lot of play in it to be honest. Um, but like basically what it does is there's a pin in here that it's supposed to push. I can't even really show it to you on this one because of how messed up it is. You can just see 
I can just sit here and do that with this. I cannot do that with the other one. The other one is super tight. Everything's really tight and good on it. But yeah, I mean, but that is how it works. This turns right here, this pulls in, stops it. Now, now if I'm doing that, it'll stop. But like, that's with no power going to it. There's, there's no wheels on it pulling it down the road. So like, it's not gonna stop with, you know, wheels pulling it and that much force behind it. It's not gonna be able to stop that much force because the brake isn't strong enough and the rear end just isn't strong enough because it's worn a slap out. So, uh, yeah. Okay, so I know that was a lot. Um, and it may have been confusing at times, but just basically, this is a transmission and a differential in one. And I kind of went over the basics of both. So you have a, you have a drive gear, you have forward and reverse. Those are the two gears that I showed you on the back, the ones that had a lot of play in them. And then you've got the big pinion gear which actually spins your axles. And that one has tiny gears inside of it that I can't look at because it's so gunked up and I'd actually have to take it apart, which I really don't want to do today. Um, but it has tiny gears in that that control how fast your wheels spin. Now, of course, in a lawnmower, you really don't have nowhere near as big of gears as you would have in a vehicle. So it's, it's slightly different. It's a little different, but it is the same concept. Anyways, guys, with that being said, I want to thank you very much for watching. I know that this video is probably going to be kind of short, and it's not something that I usually do, but if you enjoy this type of video, let me know in the comment section and let me know by leaving a like. And uh, Alright guys, with that being said, I want to thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe to my channel, and stay tuned for more. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!